So today on Project Shop, we're going to be talking about the fastest and most efficient way to cut copper wire. Now this is my um, arsenal of copper cutting tools. Uh, this is my favorite. This one here uh, get, just gets it done and will cut up to 500, probably even, I don't know if this will cut 700 MCM. Maybe, that might be tough. 500, no problem. Uh, this one here is good for 250. I actually, this is my old one. I got another new one around here somewhere. I just can't find it. Um, this is pretty good. And then this one here is good for clamping in the vise. Um, and you can pull this off and put a bar on it to get some extra torque. I like this one because I can unbolt it. I drilled holes right in my table, put it right to the table. These are good for transformers. Um, you know, mainly I use these for transformers. I don't really use these when I'm cutting, uh, cable over there these i use for transformers because they get pretty much almost one cut across all those wires um and then these ones are my favorite ones these are dewalt i got it at home depot i cut those things off so it wouldn't get stuck anymore because these would actually lock in place i use these for snipping wires over there now a lot of times i got to cut big spools up or if i get big that's aluminum but if i get big wire like that it's a pain to cut it with these cutters and you know over here at project shop we're always looking how to get more efficient easier you know i don't like working hard and that's uh how we come to this right here we're going next level with cutting copper wire with the hydro force what is this 12 ton hydraulic cutting head uh this thing is just badass man now this thing uh, i'm gonna actually make something for this to either just sit in here like this or sit here like this so when i'm cutting that big stuff i can just put a piece in there and cut it down or i'm gonna put a handle on they actually make handles for these things or i'm gonna put something on here where i could just come in here and jam this into this pile and just start snipping away now it came with this uh other style thing i don't even know oh, yeah all right they can get that off um but i had to rob my fit in we're gonna hook this up and uh see how this thing works okay i thought i was recording but i wasn't um i changed this over this fit in is actually leaking it was the one from up there i need to change the seal uh but this thing is crazy um and really dangerous <laughs> but check this out so this is aluminum. I don't have any thick copper at the moment, but uh, I've been cutting some of this up and uh, it is no joke. Ready? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my God, man. This thing is crazy. I wonder if it'll do two. Let me see if I can straighten this out a little bit. So that's like equivalent to like 500 MCM copper. But definitely not as tough to cut. Let's see if we can't stick two of them in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see. This is kind of sketchy. Oh no problem. What? <laughs> oh, this thing's awesome. So this is what I plan on doing. Having something or this like over here somewhere. Right? So, hold on, let me see. I can probably do it right now. Um, this thing is actually pretty long. Let me see if I can get this out of there. It's usually wrapped up around shit. What's the lump under here? Goddamn shovel handle. Where's the whole damn shovel? Let's see. I put this super long cord on here because when I had that 55 ton Ramco and I was breaking stuff, I would stand way, way across the room uh, and break stuff. But anyway, is this thicker stuff? Yeah, this is thicker wire. Um, what I plan on doing is having a socket for this thing just to sit in. You know, we'll keep it mobile. It'll just sit there like that next to my wire stripper. And there'll be a button somewhere to operate this. And, uh... <laughs> That's crazy. 
What? Oh, let's see what happened there. That could be an issue. I mean, it cut it. Let's see if it releases. It cut it, but it looks like that little piece of copper started getting stuck in between these blades. Now, this is this is the cheap one. I just bought this. I think it was 150 bucks, so maybe it wasn't so cheap, but but for 150 bucks, I think I spent 79 or 80 dollars for those Greenleys. So this here uh, wasn't too far off, and I mean, obviously you're gonna have to spend some money on a hydraulic power unit. They make a little hand pump for these. Um, you know, if you're on a job site and you're cutting giant 750 uh, cc uh, or MCM cables. Um, you know, a little hand pump probably wouldn't be too bad with this thing. Now, I wonder if I should have it like that or like this. Just sticking off the side. It looks cool as this thing moves, like, wherever you want. So I could have this thing just, like, on the side of the table. And I could stick a spool in here like that. Look at that whole spool. Let's see if, uh, where'd my button go? Where'd my button go? thousand feet of cable here there we go okay let's see here nope nope oh, we're on the wrong setting so oh shit oh, oh we're losing it we're losing it okay let's try this again okay that's there that's there now this is what I wanted something like this so I could cut this down in one shot. Big old spools like this. Whoo! All right, I see that might be too much. Let me release that. Shit. There we go. Let me see if I can't move that over so it's like, there we go. Okay, and now we're back. You know, let me just try it like this for now. Yeah, imagine if that was like that, straight up. Let's see. Oh, we got too much. Too much. Um, fuck it, let's see what happens. Oh, what? Oh, 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 we're getting stuck. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's what I thought would happen. So, it looks like the little wire got down in there. I knew I shouldn't have done that. All right, we'll be back in a minute. And we're leaking oil. That's not this thing's fault, though. That was a known issue. We're just going to drop that down there and deal with that in a second. Okay, I had to rig up a little uh, situation here to hold this in place. Um, I found that this set screw was loose. So this whole thing was actually uh, going up. Actually, here, I'll show you. This whole thing was coming up. Um, I'm actually going to take this thing apart and uh, see what it's uh, doing on the inside. See, that thing just comes up. And uh, I don't know if that sets... No, I don't think that set screw is what's holding it. I think when that pushes, it pushes this down. I don't know. The set screw, there's no way it's holding that much pressure. So I tighten that back up. And then I found... Um, I don't know if you can see there's a little play in there. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna see if I can't Either shim it back here to keep these blades tighter Let me just close that a little bit This thing's I mean one little quick bump and you're you're shut. I mean, it's like almost crazy instant Yeah, so what what happened when I put that um, whole spool in there? is uh, a lot of it, oh shit, I don't know how that got in there like that. A lot of it got wedged down in between, and that happens a lot of times, sometimes with a pair of dykes, or uh, not dykes, but these, right here, same same concept. Um, but for the most part, check this out. I mean, this thing is no joke. Um, <laughs> where are we at here? Done. I mean, we could be cranking out watch this so that was one <laughs> we'll put three in there say if you had a big old spool of this stuff and you wanted to uh chunk it down see here's the problem something's going on here i gotta look into that um i think it's just loose 
I don't know. This was a cheapie, just to kind of prove the concept. And uh, wait till you see what I got coming to power this bad boy. And some other things. Oh, and this is just to kind of prove a concept. Wait till you see what I got that I'm really wanting to cut some shit up with. <laughs> I wonder why that's not retracting all the way. Something's getting hung up. Uh-oh. Oh, I see. So I sheared, I sheared a pin. Uh-oh. I wonder what that pin does, let's see. So this cylinder is a pull cylinder. Um, so that's actually not even doing nothing other than, what is that doing? I'm not really understanding why that needs to even be there. Is that a stop? Is that supposed to be the stop? Maybe that's a stop and I'm I'm putting 10,000 PSI uh, behind it and I just blew through the stop maybe uh, okay we'll, uh, we'll figure it out let's just see if it's still, uh, still cutting all right, that's all I care about they're still cutting oh, we're gonna send it man oh, wrong way oh <laughs> shit man all right, let's get back into some copper. Let's see how it does some Romex. Now this stuff, see for a granulator, I always wanted to chunk the stuff down. Even if I don't have a pre shredder the way my granulator is right now, I always had to cut the wire down. I couldn't throw that whole roll in the granulator in one shot, um, or at least not the one I got. All right, yeah. See what's happening there? All right. So, that pin is actually pushing that over too. So that needs a shim on that side. And that could, that's actually dangerous for that to get wedged in there like that. That could crack this uh, case. I'm probably gonna break my thing before I get any, any further. So, we gotta get these blades to stop, uh, get them to stop moving, basically. I don't know where these uh, giant things came from, but they, <laughs> they're working pretty good for this. Okay. Yeah. So, smaller wire, not doing so good right now. But, that's okay. I mean, we, we're, we're working, at, this is a work in progress. Let's see if we can just cut that whole thing. Okay. Oh, that got it that time. Yep, that got it. And that's the, yeah. So this is basically the same concept of why, if you can see this, this actually has a lock nut, a little Allen key lock nut to keep this tight because otherwise that would happen. <clears throat> um, we're gonna replace those roll pins. That's just a hollow roll pin. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and send a solid pin through that. Oh, check this out. So we're gonna be getting some large cable. We wanna be able to help in retrieving that large cable. This is a little mule for uh, pulling giant cable. So, you know, we could just hook some cable up, put the truck in four wheel drive, dude, and rip it right out of the ground or out of the building or whatever we need to do to get the job done. Now, Let's see, here's some thicker cable. I don't have a lot of big copper around here uh, because the price, copper's way up and uh, I stripped it all. Um, but we got enough we can play with. Let's see if we can do some production. Oh shit, whoops. Oh, 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 there it is. Now, you know what I'm already thinking? I'm already 
thinking about something. Welding uh, ears on here with a heavy fucking spring. So when I release, yeah, we could even put the spring here. Because the way that pivots... Yeah, I'll put some ears on here with some super duty springs to help pull that back. Because I'm assuming, ah, oh man, we're leaking oil. I put that rag down there. This is that bad fitting. Probably better if I put the rag right here and tied it to it. I got seals for this somewhere. Yeah, this is how you fix an oil leak. Bam, you put a diaper on it. Okay, um. See what I got around here. Nothing. We stripped it all. Oh. Let's, uh, we can quadruple this up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, tough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right i gotta knock that pin out of there that why it's not coming back is that pin is actually uh bent and pushing on it you know what i got some aluminum around here i wonder if this thing will cut some aluminum we can chunk down some aluminum okay we're either gonna cut it or blow a seal or break something what oh okay i mean it'll cut it but what's happening is the diameter is right there to the point where it's got bigger because look it's that diameter I, I, this thing would cut this with no problem wow okay i don't want to i don't want to break this uh already we already broke it but let's see if it cuts i wanted to keep this but we're sending it Oh, oh shit. Dag. That didn't even hesitate to cut that aluminum, man. Oh, wait till you see the next thing I got coming. This ain't shit. <laughs> Whoa, this is dangerous. Now I can chunk down all my... Oh, shit. Now I can chunk down all my excursions, man. Damn. Alright. Well... I'm a little disappointed in the play that's in it, but for the 150 bucks I paid for this thing, uh, you know, what do you expect? I, I, I'll, I'll sit there and modify this thing until I get to cut these spools. That's what I originally wanted to do. Get these, cut that, because originally I would cut spools like this. I'd grab it and just hold it in my hand and keep feeding it every half inch, boom, 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 into that and cut the spool down pretty quick so I could just feed it. And, and while I'm cutting that, I'm like grabbing handfuls down here, throwing it into the granulator, listening to the granulator, keeping it going at its pace. I can cut this up faster than the granulator would actually chop it up. Um, but what I wanna do is like cut this in half. Let me see if it'll cut it. It's probably gonna get wedged again. Let's see. Oh, it's so quick, man. Man, this thing is scary fast. I mean, your finger's gone. If you got your finger around this thing, dude, you're done. Now, I wonder if I held that. All right, let's see. If, oh, yeah, look what happened. It's already started. That one piece rolled over and fucked it up for everybody else. All right, let's try that again. Now we just need to figure out. It's coming out, it's coming out. Where's that big ass pair of pliers? Let's give this thing some assistance. Let's see, one more. There we go. What happened? Oh, it did it. Nice, see? All I need to do is keep these blades. That's 
that looks messed up, but that's just that pin that's broke. All I need to do is keep these blades tight. Now, how I'm going to do that, I haven't figured out. I might have to shave that down a little bit in there so I can get a, a, a shim or shim it out here. I'll start out here because there's looks like I can get a nice thin shim in there. And the same thing back here, just to keep those tight. I think if they just stayed tight, man, this thing, uh, and that's not even sharp. All right, so now let's do a comparison test. Let's see how hard it is to cut a piece of, I think this is 500 MCM. Okay, anyway, let's see uh, how tough it is to cut this. Now, I like to cheat, and if you just stick your thing on something, and then you pull down, oh, oh yeah. It's still tough. I mean, not tough. It cut through it pretty quick. Um, now, let's try the machine. There. And... Okay. I'm going to go with the machine. see what it does to this you know what this is this is uh for track lighting um there's actually copper in there i usually slide that out but let's see what happens if we stick it in the uh in the hydraulic the hydro force oh oh shit uh, oh hey there we go man that's the easiest way to extract copper out of that thing ever uh there we go give it a little tap then you can get back to uh i don't know if we'll recover the copper out of that side but anyway let's uh just keep going see what happens here oh yeah oh there's the other side there we go we'll just keep recovering copper man i'll tell you what let's see can i get it can i can i can i get it there we go probably shouldn't be beating on that anyway um yeah that's cool maybe there's no more copper left yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so for the most part, I'm stoked about this, man. This is awesome. Uh, I got another badass unit. Well, not badass. It's, uh, huh. it's a cheaper version of this coming, but it's got a push button, uh, a foot pedal to operate it. So, um... We'll see how that works out, and I'm gonna have another machine so that these uh, two presses can operate independently, and this press here is gonna be able to operate both these cylinders at the same time with this new unit I'm coming. It's basically like this, but instead of uh, this manual valve, it's got a foot pedal, which I'm assuming is gonna be like, this is gonna be this one, and then this button will be this one over here and you're not going to have to do this it's going to do it automatically um so we'll see how that works i wanted to show you this real quick i picked up some serious i-beams um this machine here is 55 ton ramco i was building that as a prototype to prove the concept which i'm still going to do as long as that thing works this is going to be the actual press 100 tons so um wait till you see what i got in store for that and uh pretty much all all the stuff uh steel wise that i need for this i have finally it all came together all at once all these steel plates i got all the half inch plate i could ever need i actually got some thicker plates too um and uh those i needed some i-beams to make the real deal 100 ton press that's going to crack anything i put in there all right if you come this far thanks for watching stay tuned i got tons more cool stuff coming Woo! <laughs> oh there we go